everyone. So today I want to talk about Airtable's new feature, and that is record templates. So up until record templates was released, to have a checklist um, or task list assigned to a record from another table, it was done via automations or via scripting. Um, and with the release of record templates, we now have an easier way to do that. So it's going to show you real quick kind of what my prior automation looked like and how it worked. I would have a field in my base where I could select from pre-mapped uh, and templated uh, checklists, which are housed in a different table. That's my checklist table. And all of my checklists are, you know, the major checklist name, followed by everything within that checklist as well. So what I could do is I could go to a property and I could say, okay, uh, select that checklist and now it's going to apply all of my checklist items from that and it does it via lookup fields um, and the automations again. So we're going to take this same con concept and we're going to put this in with Airtable's new um, property template feature. Not property template, I'm sorry, record template feature. So underneath tools here, top right, I've got a record templates. From here, I'm going to go ahead and create a template, and I'm going to create it for my properties uh, table. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to first select my linked field that's between my checklist and my properties. So if you can see here when my checklist populated before, they're coming into this checklist items field. That's a linked record between my checklist table. And it allows me to have additional columns of, say, you know, task complete or due dates, and then also to be able to look them up via interfaces, grid views, whatever it may be for this property itself. So underneath my property template is I'm going to go to that linked field, which is checklist items, and I'm going to say add an item. Now, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. My task and doc title in my checklist table is a formulated. Um, column. So I do need to find that one so I can input it. And let's just call this, you know, send intro emails. And let's put a due date of Friday. Let's add a custom name to this. I'm going to name it the same as my item itself so I know that's what I've added. Um, all right, let's just say that's all I need to add to this one. From here, I, if I want, I can duplicate this. I'm going to do a custom name again. Um, let's say create Dropbox file. Dropbox file. Again, that's going to be the name of my task. We don't need a specific due date, but maybe we put in some processing instructions saying create Dropbox file and shared URL, upload shared URL to Airtable. So you can see this is just anything that I'm doing as far as creating a task, right? Each one of these is something that I want to say is a task to create on a property. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this template. Let's just say buyer test here for reference. And I'm going to exit out of this. So now what I can do via Airtable automations or even manually is if I'm looking at this property or any property or any record in Airtable, I can right click on it and say apply a template. From here, I can go ahead and do my buyer test template. And you can see those two items I just created have been added to my checklist items. So now I can see them in an interface or um, a checklist grid view. I can also go to my checklist table and see them in that grid view as well. So the next thing that we can do with this is take it from not just a manual application, but to an automation. So I can say in my automations, when a new record is created, or matches conditions, whatever it might be. We're going to update the record. And again, I'm coming from my properties table. 
and we're updating. And which field are we updating? I'm going to utilize from a template. My record template is my buyer test. So if I turn on this automation, you can just say, you know, buyer test again. Let's say one, two, three, Main Street. And look at that. Before I even am finished with that new record, those checklist items have been applied. So again, now I can make these conditional. I can make them uh, per representation, per whatever it needs to be. I can make it manual. I can make it an automation like this. Um, so this is a really neat feature that they recently released in about the last month um, that before was a very, um, not hefty build out, but took um, a lot of intricacies within Airtable. So they have just made this extremely user friendly for us. Um, and we'll kind of go back in here. And now from here too, I can go through and I can duplicate um, the previous automation, not automation, the previous template that I had and maybe switch some stuff around. Um, I can edit it. Uh, the downside to this is that uh, the first one that you do go to create, it's gonna show all of your fields. So top to bottom, you have 500 fields in there, it's gonna show them. But you could go through and you can hide all of them and say, you know, what is most important, the name. Oh, I'm in my properties table, sorry. And from here we can say the name, the maybe the assignee. And then that's what I need to worry about each time I create a template and what's going to be updated in it. So I hope that this helps you guys. Um, I thought this was a really neat feature that they just released. If you got any questions or anything that needs to be implemented, please feel free to reach out. Thanks.